Why are people against nuclear energy? I'm living close to a nuclear power plant plus or minus 10 kilometers and they want to build two new ones. I don't see the problem but a lot of people are against. Why? Mostly because of Fukushima Daiichi and also Chernobyl level disasters. There's always that fear in the back of people's minds. So nobody wants to live near the nuclear power plants. Nuclear waste. And the potential for its abuse. Accidents. Poor handling. Nuclear disasters. And intentional targeting or other such events. Q versus terrorists. What Ukraine warns Russia may do. Etc. The only valid challenges to nuclear seems to be the extremely high costs and long lead times. Relative to other energy sources. Which. I think is sort of fair all things considered. Fortunately they're sort of solving this issue with SMRs. So let's see where that takes us. Because people are stupid. Nuclear power has the lowest deaths per kilowatt hour of any energy type. That includes solar wind. The works. I'm very pro-nuclear but can totally see why people are against it. When there's a problem at the hydro or coal plant it usually just stays a problem. When there's a problem at the nuclear plant it has the potential to be catastrophic. Fear-mongering from the anti-nuclear protesters in the 90s and 2000s and a very clear view of how our government handles infrastructure. I'm nervous to drive across the average bridge in the U.S. I sure as hell wouldn't trust the governing body to properly inspect or maintain something that could have catastrophic implications if it fails. Glad every other country gets our tax dollars though. Why fix infrastructure when we could fund fight another war? Mostly two reasons that I know of. Perceived risk of accident and bad image due to events like Chernobyl or Fukushima. Current nuclear technology is not a renewable energy. The world has limited stocks of uranium. Just like it has limited stocks of oil uranium is not the only usable material. But all the others are limited as well. And nuclear fission creates some waste that we don't really know how to manage. Show me a nuclear plant that was as financially viable including dismantling and waste costs. If it weren't for taxpayer subsidies, nobody would actually invest in this technology. Pro-nuclear here. Clean. Efficient. Not necessarily cheap to set up but more efficient than fossils in the long run. Waste easily buried. If all the safety protocols, waste management, and other facility upkeep codes are followed then nuclear power would be great. However we live in a world of OSHA violations already unfortunately more nuclear plants would likely be bad because people suck and safety failures cause accidents, which in this case could severely affect the surrounding population. More people have died in Ted Kennedy's trunk than have died in every single nuclear power plant. Accident in the US combined. People are idiots. That's why they oppose nuclear power. Do not NS for profit system they cut cost. You really wanna you can't live here for 50 years because some billionaires wanted more money? Yes they're safe. But what if a hurricane or earthquake hits it? Why not simply invest in 100s of acres of solar panels that could power the entire nation? For me it's a disposal issue and who is going to run it? What corporate entity is going to cut corners to extract a little more profit? All of them. What industry model has effectively shown to run in the best interests of the people it serves and has been able to avoid a catastrophic disaster? None of them. Sure those people live a couple hundred years in the future but that doesn't mean we should screw them over for a few dollars now. Fear of Chernobyl too mostly. Even if today's system are with far better protections and multiple layers of protection. Dump proof too. So even if someone wants to do a disaster intentionally it is not. 
I'm thinking of in case of a natural disaster like Fukushima. Earthquake striking the nuclear plant or bomb during wartime see Zaporoji situation in Ukraine being mined everywhere and a high risk. Also, it's not entirely clean. The nuclear waste needs to be stored somewhere for at least 10,000 years so nobody in centuries ahead to ever find out these or be used against threats. Just in my lifetime there have already been disasters at Three Mile Island, Fukushima, and Chernobyl, and those all occurred in some of the most advanced superpowers in the world at the time. Just imagine how bad it could get in other countries too. I'm pro-nuclear and on the opposite side of the planet. But all of that business with Russia taking control of the nuclear plant in Ukraine had everybody I. No shitting bricks. Human error is terrifying when it comes to nuclear energy. Human intention can be even scarier. Doesn't mean it's not the best option available. But it would be insane to not have a healthy fear of nuclear power. Outrageously expensive to build and maintain, and to properly dispose of and store the waste. Nuclear energy destroying cities in the form of horrific bombs and accidents might have something to do with it. For me personally look at Zaporizhia Ukraine right now. What kind of idiot would put one of the largest bombs within their own country's lines? It becomes an immediate whoops looks like you nuke yourself in times of war. Stupidly short-sighted. Wind can support the UK just fine. Helps the environment and will only get better over time. They don't understand it, and people don't like what they don't understand. Add up all the nuclear disasters in history and it's not a fraction of the damage coal and oil have caused. Here is why I am against it. 1. Humans do not have the power to control the climate to ensure that issues like Fukushima will not happen again. In fact it's inevitable. When something like this happens we lose huge swaths of the earth for the rest of human civilization. How much of this is acceptable? 2. More times. 3. More? 2. We still don't have a secure way to deal with the waste. Mostly due to the environmental factors above. 3. The moneyed interests want to use nuclear instead of other renewable sources because they can control access to energy this way. Because solar and wind are cheaper and safer. Misinformation I'm guessing. If a coal plant blows up, it takes out a neighborhood. If a hydroelectric dam fails, it floods the river. If a nuclear plant blows up, a city is permanently removed from the earth. So it's scarier. That's why. Because when it goes bad, it goes really bad, with potentially national and international consequences. I'm all for nuclear power. I've paid a lot of bills by working in a lot of plants. But there is no denying the long-term consequences of poor management of nuke plants. A coal burner or natural gas plant has a problem. That's bad. But it's local. The problem can be contained. We can put out fires. We can create perimeters. We can measure and maintain air quality. A nuke has a problem. So how do you prevent contamination and fallout? With a lot of resources. A lot of money. And oftentimes international cooperation. I don't believe my country being able to maintain those facilities. Those who are already working are in a sad state and their only actual plan to treat wastes are to bury them in old mines or underground. Because people are ignorant. And they spread the stories mass media tells without critical thinking on any of it. Because they are stupid and can't do math. It became a political boogeyman and as usual politicians ran with it rather than make tough choices that would have vastly improved things. Of course, very powerful fossil fuel industries loved this. So they threw all kinds of money to support the groups pushing it as the boogeyman.